driven hard. We'll need some fielding and some running from the fielder. But it won't matter. It got raced away to the boundary. Javeria Khan off with the boundary. It's good signs for Pakistan. Yeah, the first boundary of the chase. And Pakistan going to need a lot more of that, particularly here in the power play. But a good sign for Pakistan. Javeria Khan finally finding some touch through the offside. She was almost exclusively to the leg side in her innings of 35 in the second T20I. Well, that's much more like it. A beautiful cover drive beats the dive of the cover field and Laura Delaney can't cut it off. This time into the leg side and it will be another boundary. to pierce the gap beautifully in front of square. Back to back boundaries for Juelia and Pakistan. And there's a definite decision isn't there from Pakistan to target Jane Maguire with the lesser pace. She just bowled a one over. He went for 11 in the second game. Three overs done for 22 in game one. And I think the reason they gave her the first over today was just to try and get through a couple from Maguire. Really good start to the third over. Back to back boundaries. That's really going to find the middle of the gap. Bad actually. Which is her top three batters. Shuffling towards the offside. Good fielding in the deep. He'll come off for a couple boundaries. That's what Ireland needs to deny to Pakistan. Down the track. Lofted and it's not. Oh! Well, a complete misjudgment, wasn't it? I think Kelly thought this was going miles over her head. Look, she's gone backwards two, three steps. And at the last minute, she realizes it was actually lobbing up. Cuts well, but straight to the field. There's a chance. No. Direct throw was required. That's a good shot. That will get some runs to uh, Javeria. Four of them. She saw that length was slightly shorter. She got into good position early and smashed that through mid wicket. The intent has been there for Javeria from the very first delivery. She's moving around in the crease. Just finding that length right and placing it beautifully over the head of the fielder. This is a good start by Javeri. She needs to carry on in a similar way. Keep searching for runs, keep searching for boundaries. Maybe the figures haven't shown that, but very consistent. So I'm just tickling it down. Hasn't got enough pace. We'll pick up a couple. Well, now the ball has again swept into the leg side. Beaten the fielder and will race away for the boundary. Lucky runs for Pakistan. Need a lot more than that. Well, it seems to be Jafari Khan's primary stroke, really, doesn't it? Shuffling across her stumps always to get it into the leg side, and it's pretty effective. Both fine leg and square leg up in the circle. So when she beats those two fielders, she's going to get four. It will spark a change in the field. Deep backward square leg goes out. Oh, that's a freebie. That's a freebie. Asking to be punished. Back to back boundaries. Laura just struggling to get that line in length going. This can be the big over for Pakistan. This is a poor delivery. Haven't seen much of this at all. I think it's the attempted leg cutter from Delaney. And all Khan needs to do is help it around the corner. Pakistan in the chase. Oh, drop down. Had she just had the ball stuck to her hand, I think it would have been a great catch and also a relief for Laura. I think it's a second chance, a second life for Javeria Khan. That's cheeky. Reversing it. Just trying to get it into the leg side, but change of plans. Things work for Javeria. Last over, they conceded 11 runs, the Irish side. Pakistan has been guilty of bowling bad deliveries, but this was a good drafted shot. Again, it's that walking around the crease, isn't it? Putting the bowlers off. And this time manipulating it onto the offside with the reverse sweep. Very well played. Still in this chase. Pushing hard for two. But let's talk about timing on this shot. Just a mere push. She surprised herself as well. Back to back boundaries. Javeria Khan on the roll now. Possibly game-changing overs can again just using that shuffle around the crease. She's favoring the leg side 
I'm not sure about the placement of that deep mid wicket fielder. She has to be straighter. Again, is reversing this ball. Won't reach to the boundary, but they're running hard. Should get three, yes. Brilliant running, Niladar on the roll now. It's turning out to be two big overs back to back for Pakistan. That's what they need. It doesn't matter if they are dropping those wickets, but the runs, that's all the matter. Well, 22 runs in the course of just nine deliveries, and that's immediately after the dismissal of Aisha Naseem. So, really good intent from Pakistan. Good work from Delaney right on the rope. We'll be pushing hard for the second one. Javeria Khan will bring up her 50, 10th 50 for T20 ODI, T20 career, third in Lahore and third against Ireland. And what a match and what a crucial moment to bring it up. The team will be happy, but this innings has turned out to be a well fought for. 82 for three after 11 Pakistan. Oh, chopped on. That's the last thing Pakistan wanted just after getting to her 50. Jane McGuire has undone Javeria. Well, an inspired change of bowling. What a move from Laura Delaney. You have to give great admiration to the Irish skipper for backing her young opening bowler, who's been pretty harshly treated at points. It's the lack of bounce, isn't it? Dragged on. Maguire strikes. Big, big wicket. Is an advantage Ireland again. Can's gone for exactly 50. Pakistan, 82 for four.